Hey friends, in today's video, we're going to be pouring a concrete countertop over an existing countertop. So here you can see we got the countertops all prepped out. We went ahead and we scuffed them up and scored them all up, wiped them down, cleaned them up, got all the dust off of them. So to make the forms, what I did is I took some half inch plywood, you can see a strip of it sitting on the countertop there, and I cut them to two and a quarter inches wide. Now you can see I have another piece of half inch plywood that I ripped down. These ones were as wide as the overhang plus a half inch, so these were an inch and a half wide. Then I went ahead and I mounted the two and a quarter inch tall piece of plywood to the inch and a half wide plywood, kind of like an L. We took some 2x4s and cut them a half inch taller than the height we needed them and we wedged them underneath the countertop. There was enough pressure to hold the forms in place. We stapled the two pieces of plywood together using a battery operated staple gun. I'll leave a link down below for Amazon to a DeWalt one. We were using a Ryobi from Home Depot. That worked really good. It works a lot better than using a Brad gun. It held the forms together and made them a lot stronger. Next we had to figure out how we were going to do the sink cutout. We used the same half inch plywood that we did for the rest of the countertop. We made both pieces two and a quarter inches wide, stapled them together into an L bracket. And then we were able to staple them to the underside of the existing countertop. For the corners, we cut aluminum flashing the same width as the plywood and made them 10 inches long. We were able to slide it between the plywood and the old countertop. This worked out really slick and saved us a lot of time. The concrete we used was Rapid Set Cementol. The way we were mixing the Rapid Set Cementol that worked really good for this application was we were using 13 quarts of cement, 3 quarts of water, 5 teaspoons of citric acid, which slows down the cementol from curing. The Rapid Set Cementol wants to cure in 15 minutes. By putting 5 teaspoons of citric acid, 5 gallon pails, we were just taking the buckets, dumping them out onto the countertops. Then we were just using a trowel to smooth it out. Here you can see what the countertops look like. Here you can see the countertops look nice and wet. That's because we were misting them with a light coat of water. So they wouldn't dry uneven. You need to do this for the first hour with rapid set. So using this process, they say you can go over a Formica countertop. You could also go over a tile countertop, if that's what you had. It's going to add a little bit more weight, so you just want to make sure the cabinets and the floor underneath the cabinets are going to be able to hold the extra weight. In the video description down below, I'm going to leave a link to that DeWalt battery operated stapler I was talking about. I'm also going to leave a link to a website that will bring you over to a concrete calculator so you can figure out how much concrete you're going to need for your countertop. For watching, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And while you're down there, you might as well subscribe. It's free. You never know what we'll be up to here at Lumna Acres. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I love reading what you have to say, and I'll reply as soon as I can. And we'll see you right back here next time at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading. Create the life you want.